Hi everyone, my name is Nate with SalesPad and this is a short video on Purchasing Advisor. Purchasing Advisor allows you to view demand throughout the system, create purchase plans, and generate purchase orders for a variety of items based on their sales demand and their reorder point demand. Now it's important to note that sales demand is driven by the backordered status at the line level on sales orders and will not be shown for GP backorder document types. Uh, you also have to have a default unit of measure set up for each item for it to display correctly in Purchasing Advisor. There are a few security settings that need to be enabled as well as a few subsettings to take a look at in order to have Purchasing Advisor show up. And the first of them is of course the Purchasing Advisor security or in the security editor. I want to make sure that's checked and I've also got a few subsettings here the first of which is create PO without purchase plan. This allows you to select multiple items directly from the grid in Purchasing Advisor and purchase those rather than having to add them to a purchase plan before doing so. Uh, deleting all purchase plans allows you to remove the purchase plan from all items in Purchasing Advisor at the same time rather than having to remove them from each plan one by one. And then show margin just allows you to set whether or not the margin columns show up in the demand detail grid, which we'll talk about a little later. The next security we need to look up is the choose purchase plan security, which we can find by filtering for choose. We just want to make sure that's checked. And we also need to have the purchasing setup secure. This will allow us to choose what queues and workflow we're looking for sales demand from. So I'm just going to save that, close up my security, and log out and back in. And I now have access to the Purchasing Advisor found up here along the ribbon or through the Modules dropdown under Purchasing. When I open that up, by default I'll have two grids on my screen. The first one being my demand summary, which is going to show me one entry for each item that has purchasing demand, and then a demand detail grid down below where I can select different items and it will populate with all the different sales documents or reorder points that cause me to have purchasing demand for that item. Currently I have my include reorder point, include sales document, and show demand summary checkboxes checked, but I don't have any sales demand showing up in any of my items here. And that's because I haven't set up the queues to pull sales demand from yet. So by clicking on setup, it will bring up a list of doc IDs and queues that I can select to pull my sales demand from. In this case, I'm going to find the back ordered workflow queue for my future order back order doc ID. And I'm going to reference my sales demand there. You can see that added a few lines to my demand summary, and in particular, if I click on this HD20, I've now got two entries in my demand detail, each providing sales demand from a different document number. If I were to disable my include reorder point demand checkbox and refresh this, it would take away all the lines that don't currently have a reorder point demand, and instead only show the things that have sales demand. Now it's recommended that if you're using sales demand in your purchasing advisor, you also have by location checked. This makes it so anything that's site specific in terms of purchasing will be displayed properly. If I uncheck my show demand summary checkbox, it's going to take all my lines from my demand summary, all the items I need, and break it out into individual lines for purchasing. You can see now I just have one grid I've got a line for each item on each document, whether it's a duplicate or not of an item on another document. To actually purchase the items, I can select multiple items from this grid here and add a purchase plan down in the purchase planner below. We're going to call this HD plan. And right now I'm setting it to assign the default vendor, which is Advanced Office Systems. So when I create this purchase order, it's going to assign advanced office systems to the purchase order. I then click apply and you can see my purchase plan has populated for those two lines. Since these are all coming from the same vendor I'm also going to assign this A100 to the same purchase plan 
It's already bringing in the default vendor because I have that checkbox checked. And I'll assign this to the same plan. Apply it. I can also add an additional note to this line. Now I can click the purchase button in the top right corner. And this brings up my choose purchase plan items list, of which I have my HD plan here. I have my checkbox to close when the purchase order is created. And I'm going to select all for this and click create PO. This brings up all my lines that I had selected in this purchase plan into a standard purchase order. In this case for the vendor that was assigned to the plan because of the assigned default vendor checkbox. I can save this. It will give me a purchase order number. Click OK and close it and it will close out all my windows and take me back to the default purchasing advisor screen where I last left it. Now for any lines that were purchased due to sales demand I can open those documents and see that this is now linked to the purchase order I created. Note the orange triangle at the line level and from the purchases tab I can also see the PO number and open the purchase order from here to see that all of those are linked to their respective documents. And now that they're purchased, clicking refresh clears them from the screen so I'm not purchasing items that I've already purchased. If I wanted to remove all the purchase plans in the purchasing advisor, I could enter a plan, apply it, and then click remove all plans, and that will remove all the plans that are present in the purchase planner at this point. I can also remove items from plans manually by adding them to a plan and then later coming back, highlighting the item and clicking remove. It asks me to confirm and I will do so. Overall, Purchasing Advisor is a very versatile tool in assisting with making sure that all sales demand and reorder points are met for your purchasing department. Uh, thank you for watching the video, and we have many more of them available on our website at www.salespad.net.